Some would think that certain actions, such as using a work phone to call an escort service, or a history of lying, or even being accused of sexual misconduct by numerous people, would be disqualifying characteristics for a head football coach. But not in the eyes of Auburn University, they don't give a f Hugh Freeze is officially the new head coach at Auburn University, and he comes with a controversial past that carries more weight than some may know. In 2017, he resigned from his position as head coach at the University of Mississippi, after it was revealed that he had made calls to an escort service on a university-issued phone, followed by numerous other violations. He originally told his athletic director it was a misdial, but it turned out there were numerous such misdials. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. As embarrassing as those phone calls were for Freeze, what led to their discovery seems more telling about Freeze's character. In 2016, on the night of the NFL Draft, Ole Miss's five-star offensive tackle Laramie Tussle has his Twitter and Instagram accounts hacked, causing his draft position to drop after a video of him leaked participating in illegal activities. To add fuel to the fire, the hacker posted screenshots of alleged text exchange between Tussle and Ole Miss assistant athletic director John Miller, in which Tunzel requests for impermissible benefits. Daddy, chill. Are those, are those conversations that you had with, with John Miller and with, with Hugh Freeze, are, are they, are they? Right, What's like it? I said, like, like I said, I made a mistake, a huge mistake. You know, things happen, I can't control things, who get in my phone and hacking my Instagram, my Twitter, man. Two days later, Ole Miss opens its own investigation. The next week, Free says he knows nothing about the matter. Why the fuck you lying? Why? Why you always lying? Ole Miss was about to get slammed by the NCAA with 15 level 1 violations in the program. After it was discovered, there were numerous staff and booster violations involving cash payments, use of automobiles, lodging, transportation, meals, and apparel for players. Freeze knew it would be disastrous because he was in the middle of it. Eventually, they were hit with a lack of institutional control charge and given a one-year show cause penalty. Ole Miss was about to take on a two-year postseason ban because of this and a loss of scholarships. Surprisingly, no one knew about this. Freeze knew that if this became public, players would transfer and the recruiting class would decommit their verbal commitments. So Freeze and the school did their best to keep all of it quiet, even if that meant lying. Allegedly, media outlets were repeatedly lied to by the athletic department about the NCAA case. This was because the school kept telling the media that most of the major violations occurred under former coach Houston Nutt and not Freeze, convincing everyone that the Rebels would be able to avoid significant sanctions. It was all a lie. The vast majority of the violations came under Freeze, not Nutt. Freeze knew the truth and apparently so did Old Miss. Nutt was furious about being the scapegoat for the violations. He asked for an apology from Freeze, but Freeze wouldn't give him one. Instead, Freeze declared himself the victim. As part of a lawsuit against the school, Nutt's lawyer, Tom Mars, conducted a comprehensive school record search that included Freeze his phone. And that's where the infamous escort numbers emerged. God, hey! Eventually, the lawsuit was settled and the school acknowledged its actions and issued an apology to Coach Nutt. Freeze chose to resign after this. The coach calling escort services scandal left a lasting impression on everyone. It was for sure embarrassing for Freeze, but he was able to work things out with his family and eventually got hired by Liberty University and posted a 34-15 record across four seasons. But wait. There's more. Hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a screamer! Of course there is. In addition to the Ole Miss debacle, while Freeze was head coach at Briarcrest Christian School in Memphis, Tennessee, the same high school from the movie The Blind Side, three women who attended the school shared stories of inappropriate conduct by Freeze while at the school. Freeze is back in the SEC and he's already facing criticism from Auburn fans. Some are questioning whether he should be allowed a coach given his past. Only time will tell if he'll be a changed man that improves Auburn's football program or a huge bust. So what do you think about Auburn hiring Coach Freeze? If you made it this far, that means you like this video. So please like and subscribe and support the channel. For more sports stories, be sure to check out my other videos here. Until next time, I'm Justine. Bye!